Willkommen bei Ground and Pound TV. Wir befinden uns gerade in Warschau bei KSW 26. An meiner Seite die Championess von KSW, Karolina Kowalkiewicz. Um, Karolina, you will defend your title next uh, for the next show at KSW against Jasminka Zive. Um, what do you think about her as an opponent and how important is it for you to finally put the belt on the line? Your next opponent will be Jasminka Zive. To będzie pojedynego pas i jak ważne jest to dla Ciebie, że wreszcie będziesz mogła bronić tego tytułu? Do każdej walki podchodzę tak samo poważnie i ostatnia walka nie była w obronie pasa, ale tak dla mnie w podświadomości no to była walka w obronie pasa, bo co to za mistrz, który przegrywa. So uh, she says that she treats every fight like it's for the belt, no matter if it's uh, actually for the belt as KSW uh, announces it. So, uh, well, uh, she doesn't think that the real champion, uh, even it's, if uh, it's a non-title fight, uh, has a right to lose. So every, every fight for her is uh, as important as it is for the belt. For sure, I think that's a great answer. Your fans will love that. I'm pretty sure as well. Um, let's stay with the first question. Yes, Minka Tsiva as an opponent. Um, have you studied her and what do you think about her? How do you analyze her, so to speak? Okay. So she was supposed, she was already supposed to fight Yasminka uh, the last time. So uh, uh, she was prepared for her, had uh, had a game plan, had a strategy, had pre uh, preparation. So uh, I, she doesn't expect anything changes for this preparation. You're also known to be an instructor in Krav Maga. Uh, you're doing it very often, as we see on Facebook. Um, how important is that for you besides MMA? Is that helping a lot in the fight or is it something else? Krav Maga jest to zupełnie coś innego niż MMA, ale zaczynałam od Krav Maga i od wielu lat jestem instruktorem Krav Maga, prowadzę regularnie zajęcia i to jest mój zawód. Uh, well, Krav Maga is totally different from MMA, but it's uh, her background. She's an uh, instructor, a coach. Uh, she has, her, has uh, her own groups and that's her trade actually. So. Uh, she does it, but uh, that, well, that's a different kind of thing than MMA. Um, the last question, the next event will be the first time in the cage for KSW. What do you think about that? Is it good for you in your opinion or uh, maybe a problem? I don't know. Jestem bardzo szczęśliwa, ponieważ klatka jest to naturalne środowisko zawodnika MMA i bardzo, bardzo, bardzo się cieszę, że w końcu zawalczymy w klatce i mam nadzieję, że już wszystkie gale będą organizowane w klatce, wszystkie walki będą w klatkach. She is extremely happy that this fight and will be held in the cage and KSW is introducing the cage. She hopes that every fight from now on will be held in this area because there's a natural environment for MMA for every fighter. So uh, she's looking forward to it. Yes, yeah, we know uh, the cage is known worldwide. Do you think this is a for KSW a change for the better, so more international fighters could uh, yeah could join and fight in the cage because they know the cage? Tak, wydaje mi się, że tak, że to wyjdzie KSW na dobre, że się zdecydowali na klatkę. Yeah, she thinks that it's obviously a right move to to introduce uh, the cage, right? Right. Thanks so much, Voice Love. Thanks a lot for the translation, and we're very eager to see you then in the next event. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye bye.